Hello, Palmer Academy. This is Ms. Suarez Mystery again, and welcome to today's assembly. Now, I've got, I've had a bit of a bad morning. Now, on my way to work this morning, I had the worst drive, really bad drive, and it's made me really, really intolerant of lots and lots of things. People were driving in front of me, people were like beeping the horn, some people were on the wrong lane. Oh, it just was driving me crazy this morning. How, oh, just a really bad journey to work this morning. It's just made me really, 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 really intolerant. It's been a bad, 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 bad mood. Now, I'm going to tell you about all the other things I don't like, or I'm just all the other things I just can't tolerate at the minute. So I would like everyone to stand up. So anyone who's watching this assembly, if you're a child, dog, cat, or adult, I just want you to stand up while you're watching this video. Now, if I say, if I ask you to sit down because of something that I just can't tolerate in life, I just want you to sit down. Hopefully at the end, the only people that will be standing are the people that I can tolerate and that I really, really like. Okay? So the first thing, the first thing that I cannot tolerate, just because I'm in such a bad mood at the minute, first thing that I just can't tolerate is anyone that owns cats. In fact, anyone that owns any pets apart from dogs. Dogs are awesome. They, they run around, they have fun with you, but all the other pets, yeah, don't like any of them, they all smell. So if you own in any other pets apart from dogs, please can you sit down. Dog lovers, love you. I, can't, I want to get a dog. Yeah, dog lovers, you can stay standing. What else can't I tolerate? Oh, I'm a mass, I'm a really, really big Manchester United fan. Okay, really, really big Manchester United fan. So at the minute, I think we are top of the league. Um, so if you don't support Manchester United, yeah, you can sit down as well. Yeah. So if you don't support Manchester United, like Manchester City, rubbish. Arsenal, rubbish. Red in there are okay, but you can sit down as well. Um, yeah, you all can sit down. In fact, if you don't like football, you can sit down. Really, or if you don't like sport, you can sit down. If you're, if you, if you like Manchester United, you can stay standing up. I can tolerate those people. What else? Um, let me think. Ah, if you wear pink or purple clothing, so if you've got anything that's pink or purple in your wardrobe, I would like you to sit down as well. Yeah, all the other colours are fine. Yeah, but pink and purple. Yeah, you can sit down. Um, in fact. Where else? Where else? Mm. Mm. Ah, if you've got curly hair, only like this kind of straight hair on people. So if you've got curly hair, you also can sit down. Don't like, don't like any person with curly hair. So if you've got curly hair, just gets in people's eyes, gets in like when you're talking to them at the minute. Yeah, you just can't see their face. Yeah. So if you're wearing, if you've got curly hair, then you can sit down. Yeah, what else? Yeah, I don't, sometimes I just don't like people. So if you're a person, you might as well just sit down as well. Mm. Yeah? So who's left standing up? Who's left standing up? Oh, wait a minute. I think everyone who is standing up, there is no one standing up. Oh, it's not very good. I wasn't very tolerant of people's feelings and what they like. Is that a good thing? Should I have been more tolerant today? Mm. Mm. Only joking, okay? Um, so today's, le today's assembly is on tolerance. Okay, that was just me trying to act. Hopefully, I'll win an Oscar one day. But um, I had quite a good journey to work this morning. Okay, so today's assembly is on tolerance. Um, and I apologise for my acting. Uh, so let me just share the screen. I think after doing this so many times, I can do this quickly. Okay, so yeah, so today's assembly is on tolerance. Um, so the aim of today's assembly is to understand what tolerance means and to understand in which ways we can be tolerant of each other. So what does tolerant mean? So what do you think tolerant means? Do you think I was being very tolerant to you at the beginning of the assembly? Um, so what do you think what tolerance means? At least give you a bit of thinking time. Um, so what do you think tolerance means?
Are you tolerant? So being tolerant or behaving with tolerance means to accept other people's differences. Okay. Now, if you look at these pictures here, there's five pictures. When you're looking at the pictures, think about how these five people are different from each other. What is different about each of these five pictures? What are different about them? I'll give you a little bit of talking time uh, or thinking time. Um, what is different about each of these pictures? Yeah. So you can see like some of them have got different hairstyles, some of them are wearing different colours. There's one person with glasses on. Okay, what suggestions did you come up with? Just shout them at the screen, just shout them at the screen. If you're in class, wait for your teacher to give you your suggestions. Now, if we look at these pictures, we can probably come up with that tolerance means showing respect for other people's race, okay? respecting if uh, a person follows a certain religion, if they're a different age, if they are a different gender, either a male or a female, and their opinions, what they think, you know, or again, who they may support, and who they may love in their life. You know, we have to be, we have to show respect for all of these different types of things. Okay. Now, what does tolerant behavior look like? What does tolerant behavior look like? If someone said to you how to be tolerant, what would that look like? Now, I'm going to show you some uh, different scenarios. Okay. I'm going to read them to you and I want you to think if that person was being tolerant or not. So Hamid wasn't really interested when his friend Sarah shared her homework project about her family's Australian history. So do you think Hamid was intolerant of his friend Sarah? Do you think he was giving her the time to listen about her family's um, Australian history? What do you think? Yeah, I think you're probably right. I don't think Hamid was being really tolerant of his uh, friend Sarah, which was a shame. She could have spoken about loads of interesting things about her Australian history, about her family's Australian history. Let's have a look at the next one. So James listens with interest to his friend describing the important religious festival his family celebrated at the weekend. Wow. So what do you think about James? Do you think James was being tolerant? Do you think he was listening? to what uh, his friend was saying. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think he was doing really well. I think he was listening. I think um, he was trying to find out maybe more uh, interesting facts about what his friend's family did at the weekend. Yeah, so I think James has been really tolerant in there. So have a look at the next one. So Bella had been asked to support Claire with her maths subtraction questions, but was becoming Frustrated that she was Bella didn't understand. I mean, I've just made a mistake there, but that Bella didn't understand the work. So, so Bella had asked uh, to support Claire with her mass subtraction questions, but was becoming frustrated that Bella didn't understand the work. So, do you think Claire was being like tolerant of Bella? Bella was trying to help. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think uh, Claire was being very nice. And you've got to think, when you're being frustrated with someone, normally the other person can see you getting frustrated. Let's have a look at the next scenario. Ah, during sports day, David, the captain of the red team, who were falling behind, was yelling at the runner at the back of the relay team. Ooh, wait a minute. Why do you think David was yelling? It's not very nice, maybe because they were losing. Remember, and we always talk about it in sometimes you might be upset with someone, but there's no point yelling at someone or telling them they're doing something bad. You need to give uh, advice on how they could probably do better or support to encourage them to do better. So I don't think David was being very tolerant 
of his uh, other of his peers and his team. So have a look at the next one, the last one. Josh asked Callum, who was a wheelchair user, if he would like the door open. What do you think? Do you think Josh was being tolerant of Callum? So it looks like Callum has a, a disability. Do you think uh, Josh was being tolerant of his disability? Yeah, I think he, I think he, I think he does. Now, what I would like you to do, I would like you to, if you have a piece of paper in front of you, you can get a piece of paper and pen or a pencil, and just write down ways that you can show your tolerant behaviours. How can you be tolerant to other people? So if you're in a classroom, you might want to give out tolerant behaviours to your teacher. You can just write them down on the flip chart. Okay. So if you need to pause this video, pause the video, give yourself uh, maybe a minute or two to try and write down as many suggestions as you can. Um, and then I'll come back with some of my suggestions. Um, and then you might feed back to your teacher or the person in your room or your parent or your carer about how you can be tolerant, how you can be um, nice about someone's differences and respected. Okay, so pause the video now. Okay, I'm going to come back in there. If you um, need more time, just keep the button paused and give yourself more time. Okay, so tolerant behaviours that I think, and um, if, you, if you have any of mine, give yourself 10 house points. Um, if you've got some different ones, um, yeah, you can get more house points, why not? So, tolerant behaviour, tolerant behaviours. So, responding to a person in a positive way, okay, instead of a negative way. Respecting and understanding each other people's differences. We are being tolerant when we don't get angry if someone takes our favourite toy or, you know, maybe your favourite piece of food, I don't know, anything like that. Understand that people can decide what to believe in and what to think. Even if we are not like everybody else, we can learn from them and have fun together. Accepting other people's religious uh, religions, um, political and social beliefs, and who they choose to love. Not criticizing others. Not discriminating against other people who have different abilities from yours. We need to try and um, have these tolerant behaviors as much as we can. And sometimes it can be really difficult. Um, especially when we get upset or angry, but we need to really, really try and show these tolerant behaviours in all aspects of your life, not just in school, at home, um, especially in these difficult times um, where things are really, really different from normal. Okay. Now, on reflection, so I'm going to show you some uh, really famous quotes from some really, really important people in history. So this man is the Dalai Lama. He's the head monk of the Tibetan Buddhism. Now, um, he has said, compassion and tolerance are not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. Okay. And the next one comes from Kofi Annan, who was the Secretary General of the United Nations from 1997 to 2006. Um, so he has said, tolerance is a virtue that makes peace possible. So what do you think these quotes mean? How can they help us to be a more tolerant person? So I'm give you some thinking time for that one. If you were more tolerant, would that make you feel better? You know? And if someone was intolerant to you, how would that make you feel? If someone wasn't, you know, respecting your beliefs or 
maybe you know, what football team you support or maybe the way that you looked, how would that make you feel? Because I think the more tolerant you are, the more accepting of people's differences, the more friends you're going to have, I think. You probably would live a, a happier life. Okay. So, um, we've talked about what tolerance means, um, which is really, really important. Um, and I was just going to stop sharing this screen. Okay, um, so hopefully that's giving you something to think about um, and that you uh, can take some of those behaviours and start using them now. Um, and I'll see you next time for your next assembly. Bye.